we want to recognize that our spine has curves. And this is kind of an interesting topic when you're talking about Pilates, because Joe Pilates felt like the spine was most healthy if it was straight. If you picture right now an image of Joe Pilates in your mind, his posture, it looks like this. Pelvic tuck, glutes on, inner thighs squeeze, and posture here. And he was trying to straighten his spine because he believed at that time that that was really the best thing for the spine. And there was not enough research to tell anyone otherwise. But we know now what the function of these curves are. Do you guys know already what the functions of the curves are or why we need those curves? Shock absorption is a big one. With the curves there, we can, we can have a little bit of a spring effect in our spine. So it can shock absorb and release a little bit better. Also, the way the bones are designed and the joints are designed, they articulate better just because of the shapes that they have naturally. I love to show this and take a moment here because if you think about the Pilates repertoire, a lot of the exercises involve rolling up and down the spine. The rolling up and down the spine is great for strengthening, great for articulation, but Joe Pilates' goal was also to straighten the spine. So if we spend a whole lot of time rolling up and down the spine, what are we essentially doing? We're taking out our lumbar curve and flattening our thoracic curve. And all this traditional classic exercises are done in flat back. There's nothing done in a neutral spine. So if we're looking at uh, strengthening, you can strengthen in a flat back. And we'll talk about when we want to do that for people with special cases uh, and when that's really appropriate. But I think if we're thinking about function, we need to think about where we want the spine aligned and how are we going to strengthen this spine in its normal or neutral position.